Ladies and gentlemen, your friend Spencer here. I want to give you a video today and take you inside the mind of a Hillsong supporter. Now, my channel has been hitting this stuff for a little while now. Uh, I've been dealing with all kinds of stuff and, and trying to hit the bad music, but also give you a taste of the good music too, and uh, trying to show you what worship really is. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I got a comment recently on my channel on this video called Hillsong Supporters Are Cussing Me Out, and uh, somebody got on here and commented, went through a long comment, actually took the time to even email me with their gripes and complaints. And uh, Gabe to, went there and explained why God is using Carl Lentz. And uh, the comment here it says uh, uh, thousands of people got saved, at, and this is talking about in the context of a, uh, a conference that Carl Lentz was at. Thousands of people got saved because they realized that Christianity is not what it used to be. Now, ladies and gentlemen, that should alarm you greatly because this person has just conceded by what they're saying that this Hillsong stuff and what Carl Lentz is preaching has nothing to do and nothing in common with historic Christianity. This is a newfangled stuff that has come up. And listen, by default, things that are different are not the same. This Hillsong stuff cannot be the same stuff that Jonathan Edwards and George Whitfield and Charles Spurgeon and many other men of the past preach. It, it just has nothing to do and nothing in common, and it is not of the lineage of historic Christianity. And this person made this comment here, and, and, and man, just, just I got to look at who this person was, and uh, look at their channel here, and I see that uh, you look at their liked videos, and then you find here that there's a channel called God is Gray that's in their liked videos and in their subscription. And so I went and looked at this, this channel, and I could really was appalled at what I found. Uh, this stuff, and this lady is going through and explaining how that she's pro-LGBTQ as a Christian. She actually is pro-marijuana. <clears throat> she's actually a feminist and even pro-choice. And so, ladies and gentlemen, this woman has more in common with Hillary Clinton than Jesus Christ. And uh, she even goes to explain this in a video. Watch this. From the pulpit, the pastor not only told us to vote against gay marriage, but told us to not vote for Obama. And to be honest, I was like, I'm voting for Obama. But... Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, here you see here this woman is talking about her leftist views. This woman is a socialist. Uh, and the reason she is a socialist politically is because she is a modernist in her Bible interpretation and spirituality. She is a political leftist because she is a spiritual modernist. And ladies and gentlemen, I said that I told you years ago that Hillsong was Protestant, modernistic Protestant Pentecostalism mixed with New Age religion and charismatic apostasy. That is what this is. This is a toxic mix of all things. Uh, this is not Bible Christianity whatsoever. This is New Age religion that makes you feel good, that is mixed with all the poison of modernism and all the all just all just terrible stuff. And ladies and gentlemen, you see the fruit of it in these pastors' lives, like Carl Lentz. I mean, what is that, ladies and gentlemen? Look at that junk. That is unbelievable, the things that he is doing with his life and the way that he is living. Okay, now also you see here this man's this man is is basically the figurehead of this movement. Now, when a, when when God God is working in a person's life, the character of God is shown in, in the evidence of that person's life. And the God of the Bible is a holy God. And uh, people say that God is love, and God is love, but God's holiness is His chief attribute that transcends all other attributes. If God was love without being holy, then God would just be sensuality. If God was all-knowing without being holy, then God would just be some, some secular brainiac like a Ted Bundy type who was a very smart man but was a serial killer. Listen, God is holy before He's anything else. And when God is working in a person's life, you will see holiness working through that person's life. And uh, just so you know, holiness is the opposite of what you see in this person's life. There's a video that I have of this man taking shots at a bar with Justin Bieber. And, uh, I mean, just, just unbelievable loose things that this guy does. I mean, hanging out with Oprah Winfrey, which is nothing more than a New Age witch. And apparently you can see they get along just fine. And the reason they get along just fine is because they basically believe the same thing. They are New Age religion. Now, Oprah Winfrey's a little bit more honest than Carl 
Carl Lentz in that she does not feign Christianity like Carl Lentz does, but basically these two have the same New Age religion beliefs that they hold to. Ladies and gentlemen, let me teach you something about false religion and apostasy real quick. I made a Facebook post about this. I want you to see this. Modern cars use a chemical in them to prevent the freezing of essential fluids called antifreeze. The problem with antifreeze is that the essential ingredient, a syrup alcohol derivative called ethylene glycol, actually has a great taste to the human palate. Many dogs have died from licking up this fluid off garage floors, and many people have been maliciously poisoned by drinking this sweet fluid. Modern heresy is much like antifreeze. It tastes so good, but poisons men's souls. Many will drink it down to their own destruction and actually enjoy the journey. Many states have passed laws requiring a bittering agent in these fluids, but most have not. It is the job of every Bible preacher to put a bittering agent in the minds of God's people about these modern heretics so that they will not fall victim to these sweet deceptions. We live in a day where people are ingesting anything theological without reading the labels. Just because it's sweet and makes you feel good doesn't mean it's good for you. Today, many are spiritually dehydrated because they are too busy drinking Satan's theological antifreeze instead of the water of life. Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you something. This Hillsong stuff is theological antifreeze. It's sweet, it's kind, but all it's going to do is turn you into an unholy, unholy, feminist, pot-smoking, pro-choice, pro-LGBTQ person. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is not Bible Christianity whatsoever. This is modernism feigning Christianity. This has nothing to do with Jesus Christ. And, ladies and gentlemen, you need to be aware. This stuff will destroy you, even though it does feel good. And so, ladies and gentlemen, I want to take you into the mind of Hillsong again to just show you this stuff is not Bible Christianity whatsoever. It is a New Age religion that is pretending to be Bible Christianity, but they have another Jesus, another Bible, another Holy Spirit, and when they pray, they pray to somebody else. It's not God the Father. Ladies and gentlemen, you can be mad all you want to, but I love you enough to tell you the truth. I love you enough to tell you that this stuff is theological poison. It will destroy you. It will warp you. And you need to avoid it at all costs. Ladies and gentlemen, we love you, and we want you to know the truth, and we love you enough to tell you the truth here on this channel. Ladies and gentlemen, subscribe to our channel. We have many more videos just like this coming up, and hopefully... Hopefully, God will use this channel for His glory to reveal to you the truth that in these last days, Satan is not uh, destroying churches. He's joining churches and trying to change them from the inside out and warp them into something else that is just enough truth to deceive you, but just enough poison to damn your soul. God bless you, friend. We love you. Thank you.